Welcome to the Old Prosper Storage Chamber. I'm going to give you a new tour. Okay, here we go. Some white skulls. Over here we have Leo Prosper's graveyard. Little, little coffin out there with a skeleton next to it. Spooky little graveyard. Some graveyard as well. Spooky little bones. <laughs> Rare, we have some rare fortresses. What we got here is a witch cage with a dude in the front. It's the weeping dance. You walk between the torches and walk to Leo's surroundings. It's where Leo sits and his judgments. To the left, we have another cave. A shield. Nobody in there right now. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Up against the wall, we have some skeletons. Give it a little bit of a creep factor. Over here, we have a little bit more. Some chains. Here, we have some nice here we have us. Pretty cool looking. I just like the way this is looking. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go this way. Let's walk through um, the tunnel that Leo created. Different archways different arch and the different columns to make the walls, as you can see here. You can see here. Makes it a little bit darker. Little bit darker. Here, up, up another Girl. skeleton with some chains and some vines up here. That's why I only made the cave, um, the archways go so far in the cave, so I can do this. Makes the cave look creepier looking, the tunnel, I mean, the cave. Here we have another uh, spikes with some skulls on it, some bones. Okay, let's go through here. First, I'm going to bring you through this doorway. Here we have a couple of uh, Iron Maidens, one dead body in the bag. Okay. Up here, I place some coppers, make it look like here. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what we have up here. Actually, first, let's fly up and show the top with all the chains and all the skulls that are placed up here. Made it pretty full. Yeah, pretty creepy. Go over here, you see how I made it a ledge. Put the torches on. Looks pretty cool. Did the same on both sides. Just to make it uniform. Looks pretty cool. Okay, let's go back in here. Walk in here, you'll find some torture. Here we have decapitation style torture. Got a barrel put there to put some goods in. <laughs> Um, of course, a uh, chopping block, I guess, for chopping off the smaller limbs and the uh, guillotine. Or, uh, well, we all know what that's for. Taking off the heads. So what I did here was I set up the body bags to look like they have no heads. So here we have some headless body bags um, from the, uh, the uh, beheadings. And in these garbage bags, we have the heads. <laughs> Over here, we have another guillotine. This is an older, bigger one, much bigger one. This is for the bigger people who are killing us, you would say. Few skulls hanging off of it. Here we have another torture with some torture tools and a table to lay them on. I wish that table had straps because it would look kind of cool. Over here we have a couple of different chairs in the corners, as you can see, on the left and right. Put them in the dark corners, make them a little creepier. Now here we have a body hanging over the acid vapor. The idea for that is to have it slowly heat the flesh and the skin away from the bones of the victim. As you can see, it's pretty cool. Okay, let's go down this way. Down here we have some iron maids right here. A few uh, dead bodies on the go. And if you go in here, here we have a mummified style torture to where we hang them up, wrap them up alive, hang them upside down, all the blood going through their head. And, um, yeah, so they slowly die that way, and the ones on the ground, the idea for those are the ones that were already mummified and dead, taken down. One up here on the table, on wrap. Um, we go through this way here. Uh, you'll see my jail, which is in the middle of this room. You see two damned people in there hugging each other, crying because they're about to get tortured. <laughs> and here we have a few people that are holding. 
some more of the guys. Yeah. Or villains, should I say. Mm -hmm. Here we have some benches just to sit on. While you're waiting to put them in the cage. Sit them here. Or into the jail, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, if you go downstairs, it gets a little better. When we go down here, you see a lot of lava. It's a lot creepier. It's a wall of the dams here with the bodies coming out. Some more spikes with skulls on them. A lot of bones. A lot of bone files. It's pretty cool. Pretty creepy. Fly off, you see some ring and chains and bodies right here as well. It's pretty cool. Keep it creepier. I need to add, I'm adding more webs. The base isn't finished yet. I'm adding more webs to the base and a few more items that's coming off into the base items. Um, right here. I'll put some ram skulls there in the gaps. Make them pretty cool. Uh, if you go up here, you see I got the section set up. I got a bit of a vine coming through here. Just had a little bit of that. Uh, I don't know. I guess a little more. Fill it out a little more. Um, right here we have some more hanging bodies, some spikes of skulls, um, and up here we have the cocoon dam. I'm adding about another five or six up here into a cluster, um, which will make it look even better uh, once I get that done. So it's not fully finished, that's not yet either. You see a lot of lava here. I have a, I have a spike coming out of the lava. I want two more because I want to make it look like a claw coming up through. But I gotta wait to get those, they're really expensive. Um, if you go over here, you see all the blades off the wall, you go off the ceiling, um, set up so they could cut in between one another. Quite the decapitation section. You see all the blood everywhere. <laughs> over here, we have some bodies in the boiler. Chop them up here for a minute. Um, I'm going to bring you in here. I'm going to be bringing you into Leo Crossroads private room. No one can enter this room unless they're invited. Wait, you see up here there's a web up there. Uh, the torch you can see when you're coming in. To the left right here we have some hanging meat. Some raw meat for Leo. Um, well, I'm trying to get the demon one. They're adding a demon one as base item. Uh, this is going to be the meat for the meat that, I'm, that I end up adding to this base. Um, though Leo does have two beds in here, which I'll show you in a second. You go to the left, I used to say, hanging bodies, some bodies, uh, some broken cargo net. That was up on the ceiling. Gives the base more of an aged look. Um, if we go to the right here, you see Leo's private table. Uh, here's his two beds. On, uh, on the table here on the skull, this is Gothic. And the one hanging here is Gothic. <laughs> has his two raven beds. Uh, what he did over here, I decided to give Leo a hobby because it was so demonic looking and everything. So this is uh, something right out of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, right here is where you would strap the person down, um, skin them, uh, clean it up right here clean the skin and everything, and um, <laughs> he was fitting over here with his machine and his mannequin. Here was his last day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to be adding more stuff to the torture chamber. It's not uh, it's not fully done yet. Uh, like I said, i got to get a bunch more of those. I've got a few more, three more items that I want to add, and more webs to the base as well to creep it out more. Um, they're adding a, a uh, maggot doll to, uh, to the base items as well, and some sharpened tusks. So I'm waiting to get those, and a throne of skulls for the front entrance. So I've replaced the throne that I made, and put the throne of skulls in place of it. Uh, so yeah, this is Leo's torture chamber. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to show you the sconce. Oh, the sconce here kind of looks like some crazy demonic bugs or something like that of uh, Scorpion King. Those, uh, those, I forget what they're called, those Egyptian looking bugs. <laughs> but it looks like something like that could come out of there. Or maybe some big giant fire ants or something. I thought it was a pretty good addition to the base, though. Hope you all enjoyed the, the uh, tour of Leo Crossroads Torture Leo. Chamber. Hope it was bloody and creepy bloody. for you. And uh, when I 
had the rest when I'm done um, I'll be showing another video actually I'm gonna try to do one for Halloween um, I'm gonna get some friends in here in the skeleton and um, the pumpkin outfits and I'm gonna be laying out pumpkins and stuff trying to do a haunted house <laughs> Okay, that was fun. Mm -hmm. that was fun.